I was so excited with my toll, but I wasn't sure how to use it. I did read the pamphlet, and I knew you had to hit the garlic. Well, once I started using this, I was so excited. We went to Ohio to our oldest daughters, and I said, you have to see this. This is the neatest thing compared to sliced bread. And she had granite countertops, and I had my garlic twist, and I was ready to go. What you do is you take one clove of garlic right off the bulb, place it on your kitchen counter, give it a little smack in the head. Well, I was so excited on her granite countertops. I said, oh, you got to see this, and I go, whack. And of course, I broke my garlic twist. I was devastated. The garlic twist is 100% lifetime guaranteed. The gentleman that we buy them from out in uh, California um, has the warranty on the back of his little card, which is this, which is in with the garlic twist. So now I'm back at my daughter's and I'm there. Well, I cracked it. I'm going to show you how to do it anyhow. What you do is you take your cloves of garlic. Once you smash it, it comes right out of the skin. You place it on either side. There are teeth inside. You place several cloves inside, and I will do another one. The domed end of the garlic twist, the bulb of or the, the uh, clove of garlic, a little smack in the head, breaks the skin right off, comes right off. Place it on either side of the garlic twist. Okay? Now what you do is you line the teeth up together. And it's just one, two, three, and you have your minced garlic for your garlic butter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do several more cloves and I'm going to make you some fresh garlic butter. Now the garlic butter, I use just a regular stick of salted butter. And I do this in a microwave at home. I don't have my microwave here, so I'm going to use a little pan. While that's melting, this is what it looks like when I do it in the microwave. If you have any type of a little crock at home that has a lid, take one stick of salted butter, place it in your carrot, put it in the microwave for no more than a minute. It's nice and melted. Now I'm going to do some more garlic here, and I'm going to make some fresh garlic butter for you. While the butter is melting. Now, with garlic butter and with garlic bread or anything that you use with garlic, it is up to your taste. What's right for one person just isn't always right for the other person. When I'm using garlic, I always cut my ends off. I don't like ends or skin. When they sell you garlic at the store, they are allowed to put a percentage of the skin and silage into the garlic. So when you're getting garlic powder, you're also getting some silage with it. Yes, yes, we will do that. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to cut up more? Yeah. Um, and the garlic is sticky. It also works as glue. <laughs> okay, in your garlic twist. As many as you can put on either side as long as it is closed. The garlic twist also works for olives, pickles, anything that you want, ginger, anything that you want minced to a certain consistency. Okay. Now as my garlic, my butter is melting, get it a little higher here. All I do is garlic, give it about five minutes at least for the allicin to be released from the garlic. The flavor goes right through. Garlic butter is just simply butter and garlic. Now with the garlic butter in the carafe, this stays on your counter up to one month. You don't refrigerate garlic. One of the things that I do, this, I have three containers, and that gentleman back there can attest for it. <laughs> I have three containers of garlic butter on my counter. You, you guys are all coming to my house for lunch today, and I didn't know you were coming. 
but all I have in my kitchen cupboard is pasta. So I'm going to boil my pasta. I have my garlic butter on the counter. I go over, I get my spoonful of garlic butter, put it over my pasta, mix it up, a little Parmesan cheese, and we're going to sit down and dine with garlic bread and pasta. This is a go-to. This is also great for on popcorn. Any steamed vegetables, anything from your garden, squash, you just parboil your squash or fry it and then just put a little bit of garlic butter on it. We're going to have a sample of garlic, fresh garlic bread too. You just want your butter to melt. You do not want it to cook at all. And this works real fast in the microwave I, I, compared to... Yeah, I'm just trying to, I don't want it to burn. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll watch it. Okay, thank you. Okay, once the garlic butter is done, I just simply place my garlic in it. The longer garlic stays in butter, the more the flavor will enhance into the garlic. I'm also going to show you how I make a garlic crystal. I developed this because I love garlic. And I wasn't getting the flavor from garlic from the supermarket. The